हेलो स्टूडेंट टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी ट्रांजिशन कर्व्स ट्रांजिशन कर्व इज प्रोवाइडेड टू चेंज हॉरिजॉन्टल अलाइनमेंट फ्रॉम स्ट्रेट टू सर्कुलर कर्व ग्रेजुअली ट्रांजिशन कर्व हैज अ रेडियस इक्वल्स टू इन्फानाइट एट स्ट्रेट रोड एंड ग्रेजुअली चेंजेस टू डिजाइन रेडियस एट सर्कुलर कर्व Now we generally provide transition curve in between the straight alignment of a road and circular curve, just to introduce the centrifugal force gradually. It means that if here at the junction of transition curve and straight alignment the radius is infinite, so the value of centrifugal force will be m v square by r. Now, if radius is infinite here, then the centrifugal force will be equals to zero, and slowly and slowly the radius will change from infinite to a particular value that is r. So, slowly and slowly the centrifugal force will increase from zero to m v square by r. Now, in this way, we had increased the centrifugal force gradually. Now, the objective of providing the transition curve to gradually introduce the centrifugal force between straight and circular road from 0 to mv square by r which we had seen already second one is to avoid sudden jerk the next one is to introduce super elevation gradually and the last one is to introduce extra widening gradually now if we provide a transition curve at the junction of straight alignment and circular curve then we will avoid sudden jerk condition now nature of transition curve is generally spiral cubic parabola clothoid and lemniscate curve now note is written here that the rate of change of acceleration is not constant in clothoid and lemniscate transition curve that's why they are not used as a transition curve the second one is irc recommends spiral nature transition curve for horizontal alignment and cubic parabola for vertical alignment now this is very important from the gate point of view as well as from the other exams point of view that the spiral nature transition curve is generally provided for horizontal alignment and cubic parabola is generally provided for vertical alignment that is valley curve only for a transition curve the rate of change of centrifugal acceleration is constant as well as the length of transition curve is inversely proportional to the radius of the curve which is shown here that is lt is inversely proportional to radius of the curve now we have to find the length of transition curve now it will be generally determined from the three criteria the first one is as per the rate of change of centrifugal acceleration now as per the first criteria here a straight road is shown and here a circular curve is shown now in between the straight road and circular curve there will be a transition curve which is provided here like this now here the acceleration is a1 and here the acceleration is a2 now we will find the value of length of transition curve rate of change of centrifugal acceleration will be equals to a2 minus a1 upon time now we all know that p equals to ma that is mass into acceleration as well as p is equals to mv square by r that will be the centrifugal force on equating these two we will get a is equals to v square by r now we will put the value here that is v square by r minus 0 because at this point the radius is infinite and if radius is infinite then we will put this value as infinite that is this value so acceleration will be equals to 0 and if we put the value of r equals to r that is for this point then acceleration will be equals to v square by r that is the value of a2 and we will divide this value by time that is capital t so it will be the value of centrifugal acceleration now it will be equals to v square upon rt speed will be equals to 
distance upon time. So it will be equals to LT upon T. Now from this we can determine the value of T which will be equals to LT upon V. Now we will put this value in the equation that is C equals to V square upon RT. We will put the value of T here that is V square upon R into LT upon V that will be the value of C. On solving this we will get the value of LT as V cube upon CR that will be the value of length of transition curve. But here the value of V is in kilometer per hour so the length of transition curve will also comes in kilometer. But we want value of LT in meter so we will convert it like this that is LT equals to 0.278 V whole cube upon CR. Now that is the final formula for the length of transition curve. Now one note is there that as per Indian Road Congress for a spiral curve the value of C will be equals to 80 upon 75 plus V. That is the value of C as per the Indian Road Congress where V is in kilometer per hour and C is in meter per second cube and generally the value of C ranges between 0 0.5 to 0 0.8 which is shown here. Now this is the length of transition curve as per the first criteria. Now we will move to the next criteria that is as per rate of introduction of super elevation. So length of transition curve will be directly given as 150x for plain and rolling terrain and 60x for mountainous terrain where x is the raised height of outer edge with respect to point of rotation that is if the rotation is about inner edge which is shown here that will be the value of x and that is the complete width of pavement plus extra voiding that is w plus we. So we will calculate x from this which will be equals to e into w plus we where the value of e will be equals to tan theta. Now if the rotation is about the center of the road then the formula for x is e into w plus we upon 2 here e will be equals to tan theta. Now one note is there that as per Indian Road Congress the rate of introduction of super elevation is 1 in 150 for plain and rolling terrain and 1 in 60 for mountainous terrain. It means that the increase in vertical height will be 1 meter for a length of transition curve of 150 meter. It will be represented as 1 in 150. Now the next criteria is as per Indian Road Congress minimum length of transition curve will be equals to 2.7 V square by R for plain and rolling terrain and it will be equals to V square by R for mountainous terrain. Now we had calculated the length of transition curve as per the three criteria. that is all about the transition curves. Thank you students.